uh, good afternoon and thank you everyone for joining us here today. My name is London Breed. I'm the mayor of San Francisco. I'm joined by President of the Board of Supervisors, Norman Yi, along with other members of the Board of Supervisors, uh, the Director of the Department of Public Health, Dr. Grant Colfax, our Police Chief, uh, Bill Scott, and the Department of Emergency Management Director, Mary Ellen Carroll. Uh, again, I want to thank everyone for joining us here today. As you know, uh, the city has been working uh, to prepare uh, for what we know would be a significant public health challenge uh, here in the city, and we are seeing it play itself out uh, all over the Bay Area and all over the world. Um, and as the city prepared its response, uh, we explained to the public that we would be clear every step of the way what the challenges are, uh, also the steps that we would need to take in order to protect public health, uh, and some of the challenges that we have, of course, faced uh, from an economic standpoint as well. And every step of the way, I want to thank uh, not only members of the public for your understanding, but I really want to take this opportunity to thank so many of our public health uh, staff, people who have been on the front lines, as well as our public safety uh, uh, folks who work for the city, people who have uh, rose to the occasion and have tried to help us through what we know continues to be an evolving situation and a very challenging one. But I also want to say that San Francisco has, as we know, experienced challenges in the past. And because of those challenges, we have become more of a resilient city. Um, that is why we took the step before any other cities to declare a state of emergency so that when this happened in our city, we were prepared. And we are prepared. But we also know that there are some very, very uh, significant things that need to be done, some significant steps, even more so than what was announced by the governor in order to ensure public safety. And so today we are announcing uh, those steps and what we need to do. And part of what we are also seeing um, is definitely a change in behavior, uh, a change in what people do in our everyday lives. Uh, many are calling this the new normal. Well, it's the new normal temporarily in an effort to protect public health. That's what this is about. And again, we appreciate everyone for your cooperation and all of those folks who continue to be on the front line helping us to combat what we know continues to be an evolving situation. Uh, the new public health order that we're announcing will require San Franciscans to remain at home with exceptions only for essential outings. These measures will be disruptive to day-to-day -day life, but there is no need to panic. Essential government services like our police, our fire, our transit and sanitation will continue. So your garbage will be picked up. Police officers will be out there on the front line. Our uh, fire safety officials and others. Also, grocery stores and pharmacies and banks and gas stations will remain open. Restaurants will be open for takeout only, but non-essential stores like bars and gyms will close effective midnight tonight. So my fellow San Franciscans, what we are asking for everyone to do is to remain at home for all but the most essential outings for your safety and the safety of those around you. Dr. Colfax will provide more details, uh, but I want to also be clear, again, this is not a time to panic. We are not closing grocery stores. When you need to go to the grocery store to pick up prescriptions, or uh, please also practice social distancing by maintaining at least six feet of distance from others. Continue washing your hands and cleaning high-touch surfaces. We know that uh, this will have an even larger impact on what we've already put into place. And we will continue in this city to do everything that we can uh, at the local level to support those who will continue to be impacted. I also want to express that this directive is coming from 
uh, our county health uh, experts. Uh, this is not just happening in San Francisco County, it's happening uh, as we speak in Contra Costa County, Alameda County, in Santa Clara County, and Marin County. So the Bay Area as a region is coming together, understanding the significance of the impacts of the coronavirus for the purposes of making sure that we are keeping people safe. Because we know in San Francisco, we can't do it alone. We have to work together. And our public ex health experts, which as I've said in the past, are some of the best in the world, are advising us to take these additional steps to ensure public health. And we will continue, as we have done, in addition to protecting public health, taking into consideration the impacts of these decisions on our economy. We will continue to do everything we can to protect our residents, our workers, and businesses through these challenging times. This morning, we announced the Workers and Families First program, a $10 million paid sick leave package for workers impacted by the coronavirus that are not city employees. We provide a paid, advanced paid city uh, sick pay for city employees as well. This is an addition to the measures we've announced, like deferring our business taxes, taxes and licensing fees, launching a relief fund for impacted businesses, supporting nonprofits funded by the city so that workers don't lose their income, working with partners in the philanthropic and private sectors and advocating for state and federal funds, putting a moratorium on residential evictions. And here's the thing, we know that there will be more that we need to do. Uh, and so we all clearly, along with many of the de department heads that are with me, a number of city leaders, elected officials, we are all coming together to put forth the kinds of initiatives that will help us get through this very difficult time. I want to encourage employers and employees who are impacted to visit www.oewd.org slash COVID-19 for more information and available support. If you have any questions or concerns and need access to information, you can also call 311. Again, let me reiterate that the time now is not to panic. It's for us to come together. It's for us to follow the directives. It's for us to do everything we can in our respective capacities to prevent the spread of the coronavirus so that we can get over this very challenging time. Ultimately, we will. Uh, so we're talking about a what is might be considered long time, but a short term inconvenience for the possibility of having a more significant impact as it relates to our public health system. So we are grateful for your support. We ask for your cooperation. This will go into effect through April 7th uh, and could be amended to either be shortened or lengthened depending on the advice from our public health experts. Uh, so at this time to provide more details around what this means and how we will be impacted county wide uh, in San Francisco as well as the entire region throughout the Bay Area, uh, I want to introduce Dr. Grant Colfax.